You just scare away those kids with a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah. So we are at Walmart, and we're gonna get a toy car, so we can modify the freaking poop out of it. So I've done mods to little toy cars like this one before, um, I made this one go really fast, but I wanted to try something bigger and not one of these little micro things, so I got this one at Walmart. It's a new bright RC car, it's a Ferrari, and it runs off four AA batteries right there, and when I got it out of the box, I, I actually thought I think this one's pretty cool, because it's like really light. Um, it's like lighter than those normal ones and stuff, so I'm gonna run this one stock, see how fast it goes, and then I will, um, modify it. So this is Grant, he's gonna be our cameraman today. Um, he lives in my closet, sometimes I feed him cardboard, but most of the time he just eats carpet. Grant, stop playing with that. So this is max speed. Yeah, look at the max speed. It's like a speed walk. So we're gonna time how long it takes this car to go from this red line to that yellow line. On your mark, get set, please go. And stop! That took a long time. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> so I took the shell off, this is what it looks like. I think for the first round of modifications, I'm just going to cut the power supply and wire a, a two cell LiPo on it. So that will give it more voltage and then make it go faster. And then I'll probably do more modifications after that, but um, that will be what I do first. Thanks for pointing Grant. Alright, so I opened it up and found yeah. that, oh my gosh. So I opened it up and found that um, those were like the power leads, they connect to the battery box under there. So I just wired my JST connector, I soldered it right onto there. So now I can just plug my LiPo straight into there. I made Grant work in the corner. Dang it. So this is with the LiPo battery. On your marks, get set, go! And finish! So it's all right um, with this battery. It's, it's definitely faster, but um, it doesn't turn very good. I think something like electrical in there might be getting too hot because of that higher voltage or something, but it like barely turns. So I'm going to try and put um, a servo to the steering thing instead of just like a little motor like they have it in there. And then I'll use one of my airplane receivers for it. So we're going all the way on the mods now. So this was probably by far the hardest part of this modification process. Basically what I did was take that little bar that moves there and that used, this this bar right here, and this used to be connected to like a gear that went into a motor. But what I did was take that bar and glue it, or connect it to a servo. And that servo is on a block of wood that goes to like the little thing that held the old motor. And I'm just going to keep that in there just because it'll probably add some weight and help it like give it better traction. So that's my steering setup. So I've got my airplane receiver like right there. Um, and here's a steering demo with the servo. Now on that little radio, which I'm not using anymore, like it was either turn fully this way or turn fully that way, nothing in between, but, but watch this radio. See, that's my DX7. Watch this. See, it's like super precise. Let me move it. It's like... So it looks like we won't be needing this anymore. So here's the finished body of the car. I've got my servo that you've already seen up there, and then this is the speed control that basically takes power from the battery and gives some to the receiver and then some to the motor. And that's the receiver. It's an airplane receiver, but it, mine looks weird because I waterproofed it. Um, and then on the bottom I have the control buttons for the receiver. That's the on and off switch, and that's the motor start button. So basically it's pretty cool. Um, it's raining right now, so I can't really go test it. Holy monkey balls! That was 
loud. All right, another mod is the radio range with this receiver is probably about 4,000 feet, and the other one was about 10 feet. So now we're gonna do the racetrack. So it's still pretty slow, but um, I'll do more modifications to make it faster in a little bit. So even though that last mod made it have like super precise turning and um, throttle, it still doesn't go that fast. So I put, I was using 7 volt batteries before, now I'm using this 11 volt battery. So this will make it go way faster, yeah. um, but it might make, it might strip the gears. So sure. we'll see. Hopefully it'll go a lot faster though. Run and jump. 11 volts. Time! Yeah, I started with one of my eyes. Just... You that? Yeah. So this is the battery I put in it, the 11 volt one, and um, it had so much power that it stripped those little nylon gears that are in here that are meant for only 6 volts. So that's the end of those gears. So um, this is the motor that was in the car stock. It's just one of these little like common motors, you know, one of these things. So the gears were stripped, so I just went ahead and took out the motor, can't stop, and put a big duct, uh, 64 millimeter duct fan on it, and that's the speed control right there. Um, we saw. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty hard to control, but we'll see. Are you a fire hazard? No. <laughs> Josh, do you eat the poo poo? No. Okay, good. Is that from airplane parts? If you've looked for a homosexual yeah, before, here is a rager. <laughs> Good boy, man. Come on, Grant. Over here. La 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 la. Gosh. Full throttle it back to us. You saw that. Oh. You mark. Let's say go. Uh. Two. Come on. Full throttle. Yeah. Throttle. Oh, oh. It's too powerful. So the prop was chipped and it shattered. So the last mod is a C65 rocket engine. So it looks like it took off, flipped over, and then right here the rocket engine hit the ground and flew off. You can see it in the smoke trail. Whoops. El Autobus. What are you hunting for? 
Unload, Kevin, unload! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Focus in on people are judging you. Go okay, okay. Now go right next to me and you'll be in line. Now do the do it again. Do it again. Dude, we should get a tech deck. Like no other. All right, so that guy that you just saw staring at Grant was like, like the Croatian guy, and like, he, um, like he kicked us out like of Walmart six last ago. time. Like we six, were like playing on the like dog six food bags. Like six months ago? No, no, no. We, we made a fort. No, okay. Let me explain the story. Okay, explain we the story. made a fort by the dog food, and then we went and got Nerf battle axes and swords. Same guy back there. We were having a battle royale. Well, I was just kind of actually pulling Daniel. And then he comes, he's like, you can't play here, because he's from Croatia. So I don't then, even know if there is a country named Croatia. There is, I remember from a map test. Really? No, that's crazy. Not Grant, let's go to Croatia one day. Hiya! Is there anybody in there? I no, hope I was hoping there would be. No, 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 What is that? Look how small my Mountain Dew is. That's cool, buddy. 